Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our day number 19, lesson number 19. A problem is already on the blackboard. I'm going to read it to you. We are given, this is the given part, a cylinder with a radius of 3 and a height of 7. So let me draw the cylinder with the radius of 3 and the height of 7. So here to here, radius of 3 and a height of 7. Voila, there is a cylinder. So we are given a, ra a cylinder with a radius of 3 and a height of 7. Point X and Y lie on the circumference of the top and the bottom of the cylinder respectively. The respectively part tells you that X, X lies on the top and y lies in the bottom somewhere in circumference so let's let's draw our x and y somewhere on the, on the on the top let's put the x here and y lies in the bottom let's put y somewhere It makes absolutely no difference where I put x and y because that's exactly what we are told. We are told that point, points x and y lie on the circumference of the top and bottom of the cylinder. Just like we showed here, x lies on the top cylinder. As you can see, this is the top circumference and somewhere on the top circumference lies the x. And on the bottom circumference, somewhere on the bottom circumference lies the y. The question simply is, what is the greatest possible straight line distance between x and y? What is the greatest possible straight line distance between x and y? This is how I abbreviate between because I'm lazy, that's why. And here are the answer choices. A, B, C, D, E. 4, 7, 11, root of 58. Oh, all of a sudden they introduced the root and root of 85. Then they switched to the digits. Something is going on. I will give you some time, however long it, uh, however long you need, obviously, uh, to solve the problem. I want you to pause the video at this time. Always make a habit of doing this thing. Whenever I finish, whenever I finish setting up the problem, immediately pause it, because as I've explained to you many times, you will learn a hell of a lot more. You will get a lot out of it if you try solving the problem yourself first. Even if you have trouble with it, even if you get the wrong answer, you will still learn a lot more by doing it yourself than having somebody and then watching somebody else solve the problem for you. That's not how you learn math. Enough of my sermon. I'm in. Pause the video. I'll give you a couple of seconds to pause and unpause and solve the problem. Once you have once you have your answer you can resume it. Well, so what's the answer? The answer is this, and if this is not the answer you got, it's up to you. If this is not the answer you got, then it's up to you. You can pause it again one more time and solve it, solve it, say, give it a second try. And if you got it right, then you got it right. Or you can just watch me. So here's the solution. We know the radius is 3. How, how can we put x and y so the distance from x to y is as large as possible? We're going to have to move this x and y. We're going to have to move them so that we can see them. Let's put the x. Let's put the x over here and let's move the y, let's move the y to the other corner. Because we want the distance to be as large as possible. So now the question is, what are we dealing with? We are dealing with, believe it or not, we are dealing with a right angle triangle right here. Let's give it a name so we can talk about it. This is your y, this is your x, I'm going to call this z. So x, y, z is a right angle triangle. How much is x to z in the, in the, in the triangle? In the triangle x, y, z, in the triangle x, y, z,
x to z is the diameter which is 6 from here to here is also 3 how much is z to y to z y to z is the height of the cylinder y to z is the height of the cylinder which we are told is 7 so it's a simple right angle triangle where this side happens to be 6 x to z happens to be 6 this side happens to be 7 we just use the Pythagorean theorem and figure out the largest possible distance from x to y this is where they're going to be farthest apart when one, one point is at the other end of the cylinder there as far apart as is possible the other end is here and it forms the right angle triangle Pythagorean theorem simply tells us which is going to be x to y let's call it let's call it d for the distance so your d squared is going to be 6 squared plus 7 squared that's all 6 squared is 36 7 squared is 49 let's add them up 6 50 15 5 carry 1 85 there you go 85 therefore your d d squared is 85 and therefore your d the largest possible distance is this guy right here that's all you're done that's it that's all i have for today i will see you tomorrow day number 20 as I already explained yesterday, I'm doing it one more time. Tomorrow, day number 20, is going to be the last day for circle, circles and circumference. Starting with day number 21, I'm going to start the concept of rectangles and squares. And the problem will again become easier and they will build up from there as we go along more and more into the concept. But uh, we started our pra day number 1 to 10. From day number 1 through 10, I, we did not solve any problem. I just simply explained in the first 10 days the basic concepts of geometry. Starting from day number 11, I've been solving problems. From day 11 through day 20, we deal, deal with the concept of circles, areas, and circumference. And tomorrow is going to be the last day of that thing. What question number was this? I have no idea what question number was this. This was question number 11, actually. Yes, this was question number 11. I like to keep track of that. Tomorrow, I'll see you on day number 20. If you wish to get hold of me, in the meantime, for personal private tutoring, either face to face or over the internet via Skype or over the telephone consultation, you can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to keshwaniprep.com and get hold of me from there as well. For GRE, GMAT, SAT, or even if you need to tutor for algebra, geometry, statistics, calculus, whatever it is. Well, I'll see you tomorrow.